This other developing story in Hillsborough County tonight. This is the scene along I-75. First thing this morning, you can see all that smoke coming from a car. Deputies say they pulled over a wrong way driver and she lit her car on fire. The woman also had a knife. As Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer reports for us, this evening deputies are getting praise for how they handled that call. This might look like the aftermath of a regular car fire to someone just driving by, but Hillsborough deputies say there was much more to it. It was very clear to deputies that this woman was undergoing a mental health crisis. Deputies saw the woman driving the wrong way on I-75 near the Fowler Avenue exit. We're told when she pulled over, she escalated the situation. Making uh, a lot of very aggressive statements towards deputies. Um, she had a, a knife in her hand. And then she set fire to her own car. Amanda Granite, a sheriff's office spokesperson, says this situation could have had a violent ending, but didn't. They decided to uh, do whatever they could to try to de-escalate the situation, to kind of convince this woman to put the knife down, to, to you know peacefully come into custody with them. Granite says the department's focus on mental health has been extremely effective. In 2018, Sheriff Chad Cronister began mandating 40 hours of crisis intervention training a year for his deputies. According to the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay, this has paid off exponentially, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. Because of COVID, the behavioral health pandemic has been so pervasive that right now, I think the statistic here locally is that 80% of calls to 911 have a behavioral health component to them. Crisis Center CEO Clara Reynolds says it's critical for law enforcement to be able to identify people who are looking for help not trouble. Because when you have to pull a gun on somebody, when you have to tase somebody, when you have to put bodily force, that has an impact on that first responder. And if they know when to avoid that kind of force, like on Thursday. Something that could have been an incredible tragedy for everyone involved was, you know, able to be diverted. In Tampa, Aaron Mesmer, Fox 13 News. Now, experts urge people to dial 211 if they or somebody they know is struggling and needs some help.